Hi kids, Mrs. Weech just showed you a picture of a man whose name is Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a very famous artist. He painted all kinds of pictures, but and in all different forms of art. But today I'm going to show you some real pictures that people have done that look real and some that don't look so real. But this important thing that I wanna tell you is, is that Picasso is well known for his weird pictures. And that's what we're gonna show you. But first, I'm gonna show you some things that real artists, other artists have done. This picture right here was painted. A man painted it. That's not a real, uh, photograph, that's a painting. That's a painter who paints things to look real. Here's another picture where a man made things look real. That is a real painting once again. This is a painting also. And look how real it looks. The painter made those vases look real. This painting, we can tell they're people, but the man made them look kind of weird, didn't he? And he's famous for these kinds of people. He draws these all the time. Now we're going to look at some pictures that Pablo Picasso made. If you look at them, they're weird, but they're so famous if you see Two eyes here, but there are really two people. It looks like there's one over here, and here's this one's mouth. And then here's another one over here, and there's this person's mouth. And one of the things you've got to notice, he uses a lot of color. He likes bright colors. Here's another. Isn't this a weird-looking thing? Look at one eye up here and one over here a nose and a mouth, they just, it doesn't really look like a person, but you can sure tell it's some kind of a thing, a person, can't you? Now, here's another one. And by the way, lots of color on that one, lots of color. Then there's this one where he just experimented with, looks like some different colors of brown, light brown, dark brown, and he, once again, I see two people. Here's an eye and a mouth for this one. And here's an eye and a nose and a mouth for this one. See how weird that is? And look, their eyes are different. Their ears are different. It's ears, because we don't know what it is. Okay, now one more here. Wait till you see how much color there is in this one. Now, this is weird to the max, isn't it? It's got a mouth. I don't know what it's doing. He doesn't try to be scary. The pictures aren't scary. He doesn't try to scare anyone. It's just he's got a wild imagination. So on this, the pictures are all real colorful, and he has a good colorful background. He likes a lot of color. This one is also has a name. I think he names all of his pictures, but she's called the weeping woman. See the tears? And then she has a handkerchief in her hand. You can see that there's her fingers right there. She's holding the handkerchief up. Weird, huh? Listen, I'll bet you this painting would, if you had it today, would sell for $2 million. Okay, so for today, we are gonna make our own Picasso. And I'm going to forewarn you, Mrs. Weech doesn't like Picasso. But I know first graders love to do Picasso. And once you get finished with your Picassos, you are, she's going to put them in the window. Because everybody likes them. But Mrs. Weech thinks they're scary. Anyway, so here's what you're going to get. She's going to give you two pieces of paper. One is going to say side one. And one is going to say side two. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut down the line here like that on side two. And cut down the line here on side one. And then you're going to put those two together 
like this. See that? See how they go together? Once you've done that, you're going to put a face on these. Now, I've cut them out, see? And I've put them together like that, see? But I'm gonna start out with just one of them. And Mrs. Weech has given you a piece of paper that looks like this. These are eyes, these are noses, and these are mouths. Now you do not have to use this if you don't want to. She's also, when you get finished with these, she's gonna give you paper, another paper, where you, by then you'll know how to do this real well and you'll, you'll wanna make your own eyes. But I'm gonna show you what you can do. If I put this thing on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this eye right here on this, this guy right here. So I'm gonna put this right over it like this. And now I, don't, I hope you can see that I can see that eye right through there. So now I'm going to draw that eye that I can see. I hope you think you can see it. I'm gonna trace it, it's called tracing. So I'm tracing that eye right over the other one like that. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now it needs a nose. So I'm gonna look and see what kind of a nose I want. And I'm going to use this one right here. So I'll put it over the top of it and I'm gonna make it come down like this, like that. Now, does that look like a nose? Now, to make it funny like Picasso would do, I'm gonna turn it sideways and do this set of lips right here. Does that look weird or what? <laughs> now I have to do the other side. I can put the eye anywhere I want, but this time I'm gonna use this long skinny eye. And this time I'm gonna put the eye way right here. There it is, I can see it through the paper. Okay, there it is, okay. Now, I've gotta have a nose. Let me see, I think I'm gonna put the nose right here. So I'm gonna come up like this. You see that I'm, I hope you can see that I'm following. If they ever let me come back, I'll be able to show you stuff better. I don't know if they're ever gonna let me come back. I'm gonna think I'm gonna to go to the President of the United States over this. Okay, now I need a mouth, okay? Oh, what do I want that mouth to look like? I think I, I wonder if I should make it crooked again. I think I'll get way up close to the nose. That'll make it funny, won't it? So I'll put, I think I'm gonna use this, this mouth right here, right up close to the nose. That's not usually where you'd put your mouth, but I'm following that one underneath, okay? Okay, there we have it. Now watch what happens when I put my two together. This one, I gotta fix this. It, sometimes when you're old, you shake. Mrs. Weech doesn't shake. She's not old. Oh, look, I don't like that. I can't handle that. Okay, there. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, a mine is funnier than Picasso's, isn't it? Now, I can do whatever I want. I can put an ear on it and I can add it. I'm going to add it. I'm gonna add an ear right here. And I'm gonna put an earring on it. Okay. And this one over here, I think I'm gonna put some hair on it. And because he's funny, I'm gonna make his hair like that. What do you think of that? And then this one, I think I'm gonna make curly hair. There. Now we're gonna color it. And I'm gonna teach you something, a real cool trick. First of all, I've taught you how to cut. I've taught you how to fold. Now I'm gonna teach you that I don't like scribbling. 
and I'm gonna show you the difference between scribbling and coloring. In the first place, everything he did was weird. So I'm gonna make this person, I'm gonna cut this all out so I don't have to stay in the lines only when I'm in here, okay? So I'm, this is coloring. You go around the edge like this. Now see, I don't wanna get on the face, so that's why I go around the edge. And he's got green hair. I should say that there are some people around now that have green hair. But now I don't care if I go out of the line. See that? But I'm not scribbling like this, leaving big white spaces. I'm scribbling in a straight line. And watch, if I put my finger right here, I can scribble right up to it and I'll never go out of the line. See my finger is stopping the, stopping the crayon from going out of the lines. So there we have, he's got green hair, this one. Okay, what color should I make his face? Um, I could make it orange. I think I'm gonna make his nose purple. There's a purple right here. I'm gonna make his nose purple. Once again, I don't scribble, but I go around the edge first. I go right around the edge like that. And then I just go straight, straight, straight. Does it matter if I go out? No, doesn't matter because that's gonna be cut out. Well, it's cut out over there anyway. There's his nose, her nose, its nose. Okay, now I gotta make its face. What'll I do? I think I'll make it bright orange, okay? So once again, I don't, all I need to do is stay away. I don't wanna color the mouth, so I'm going around the mouth to keep from coloring the mouth. I don't wanna color the mouth. I'm gonna make it another color. And I don't wanna get my orange in the nose. See, but now I can just go wherever I want as long as I keep them close together. So my, there's no white showing. Now don't you do it this fast. I've been coloring for years and years and years and you haven't. So you have to take your time and do a good job because I won't come back if I see bad scribbling. So see me put my finger there. I really don't care if it goes out there, but I'm, that's what I do sometimes to keep it from, okay? Now he's really getting to look like a weirdo, isn't it? I think just because I want to do it and Picasso did it all the time, I'm going to change the color up here for the rest of his face. So now I'm going to make it this color. Now I'm really looking like a Picasso. I'm going to under outline where I don't want to be. Outline, 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 outline. And now I'm going to color it in. Whoops. Okay. Now you've got the idea of what I did, one side, okay? And whatever I do on the other side, that's no good, I'm gonna make it red. I have a lot of crayons, I should be able, I want his eye to be red, it's eye. We don't know if this is a he or a she, it's an it. It's an art, artist picture. Okay, what color shall I make its lips? I think I'll make his lips blue, okay? I'm gonna make the lips blue, and that way you're gonna be able to see what I'm expecting out of you, okay? You don't see any white on here, do you? You can see that I colored every look and spit. You can't, you have to leave the eye white. Okay, that's my half. Okay, now you've got both sides colored. So now you cut one out. I've already cut one out, really, so you have time to work and not listen to me forever in an 11 day. And so now I'm gonna cut them out. Do I chop with the scissors? No. Am I always pointing the scissors forward? Yes. Am I moving the paper as I go along? Yes. Now watch me turn the paper. Turning, 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 turning the paper, just like we've learned. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue. And remember, I told you only little kindergartners just slop a little glue on. We put lots. So now I'm gonna put glue all around it so it'll stick right. 
because she's going to put these up in the window. And if they come apart, people are going to say, I wonder who did that. That's dumb. They didn't glue it on. See how I'm gluing all around the edge? All around. And then I put a little bit in the middle. See that? Now I'm going to glue it on my paper. Here's one. Okay, there he goes. He's on the paper. Now it's just like a puzzle, folks. These two fit right together. See, if I look and work it around, I'll have them right together. And then I've got my own Picasso. Now I'm gonna teach you something really important about this. Picasso didn't have two noses on people. They always shared a nose and they shared part of a mouth. So I'm gonna show you what that means. You know what, you don't have to. On these, I would do it like I did it. Put eye, nose, and mouth. Here we go, I'm gonna, I gotta match them up. I'm gonna match them perfectly. And there's my Picasso. See there, and you watched me do it. I don't like these colors all that well, but that's all right. Picasso's colors were more darker. He didn't use light colors. His colors were dark. They call that brilliant. But all I have is what any of us will have. So on this one, I'm gonna put an eye right here like this. There's the eye. Okay, and I'm gonna pretend like this is the nose. This other guy is behind her. So we're gonna come around here with the nose like this and put make this like this up into the nose, okay? There. Now this one, its mouth is here and this one's mouth is here, okay? But this one, this mouth has lips. This mouth is smiling, okay? And then this one has an eye right here. Okay? And then its nose, this person, this one's nose is behind this one because this one is better. This one is more, okay? So there you have it. See how they're different? I'm gonna make um, some eyelashes on this one and some big fancy eye eyes like that. Make her smile. Okay, there we have it. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to do at Christmas time if nothing happens and if they let me in and if you can bring a shoebox. You need to bring a shoebox. If you don't bring one, you won't be able to do it because last year I used up all my shoeboxes shoe and I hardly ever get new shoes, so I don't have any more shoeboxes. Now, this is the box. Now, I'm going to open the box and show you what's in it. <sighs> a little Christmas village, and you're gonna make the very thing yourself. Now watch what it does. We're gonna turn the lights off so you can watch. The house is gonna light up. You just watch, watch the red house. Ready? The house lights up. That's what you're gonna make. Isn't that fun? So what are you gonna to have to remember to bring? You have to remember to bring a shoebox, not a boot box. Boot boxes are too big, just a regular shoebox. If you go in the store, like in Walmart or somewhere where they sell shoes, ask them for a shoebox. Ross, I think, would give you a shoebox. Now, one last thing. Besides the shoebox, I need you to all bring a cereal box. The cereal box has to be here before the shoe box. It has to be here by the end, by Halloween. You've got to bring me an empty cereal box by Halloween. I want you to get the plastic stuff out of it. I just want the empty cardboard cereal box before Halloween.